Assemblymember Russell, Silvertown Tunnel. Well, Chairman, can I congratulate uh, Assemblymember Russell on her election there uh, as well? We, we took part in some hustings as well uh, when Sean was tied up for a lot. Congratulations, uh, Assemblymember Russell. I've made a commitment in my manifesto to deliver the major infrastructure that London needs for the long term, including new river crossings for East London. These crosses should benefit and regenerate the communities that need them the most. They should include cycling, walking and public transport options that help to break down the physical barriers that can alienate parts of the city. The Silvertown Tunnel has the potential <coughs> to meet current and future demand across the river in that location and importantly could transform cross river public transport connections. However, I am still considering the merits of the tunnel and will review this as part of the six month public examination which is due to take place following the development consent order. The DCO represents the start of a process and does not preclude reviewing the details of the scheme, such as charge levels. So I'm not proposing to withdraw it at this stage. I will also look again at the particular issue of tolling. It could help to address concerns about the tunnel stimulating new car journeys, but I am determined to ensure that any user charges for the Silvertown Tunnel are fair and also encourage the take-up of the cleanest vehicles. In terms of a review of the long-term plans for river crossings, this will be addressed through the development of my new transport strategy. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor, and congratulations to you on your election as well. Um, the What I want to understand is, if you are not going to withdraw the development consent order, how will your river crossings review be genuinely strategic in nature, because you will be allowing the plans for one particular project to reach a, an advanced stage at the same time? Well, I mean, to be fair, the scheme has been subject to four public consultations already. And the majority of people who responded uh, responded in support of the scheme. Uh, there was a statutory consultation recently uh, which found uh, support for the scheme. So the DSA, the DSO application for the scheme is currently being considered by the Planning Inspectorate. Uh, and subject to verification, there will be a further public examination taking place later this year. And so let's, let's wait and see what, that, what, that, what, that, uh, what the response of that is. I mean, during the election campaign, you actually said on the 6th of April, plans as they stand for the Silvertown Tunnel do not fully take into consideration the importance of greener transport. We need a proper joined up review looking at river crossings and improved public transport connections east of Tower Bridge, but in a strategic fashion, not piecemeal like the current mayor. Now, pushing ahead with the um, Silvertown, without, if you don't withdraw the DCO, you will be going forward piecemeal as you were accusing your predecessor. Do you not accept that that's the case? I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody who uh, would translate what we're doing with Silvertown is pushing ahead. At present, some of the worst congestion in London is experienced at the Blackwall Tunnel, with regular 25-minute delays contributing to poor air quality on some of London's most, pop, uh, most polluted uh, roads. Advice I have is that the new tunnel is predicted to effectively eliminate the current congestion, thereby reducing emissions. And the user charge helps ensure the level of traffic crossing the river do not increase, which is why it's really important to go through the uh, DC application process. That's, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that's going to come up during um, any review of, of these crossings. But, I mean, I say again, unless you withdraw this application for the powers to build the Silvertown Tunnel, you are going to be spending £10.7 million on preparatory work this financial year. Your two predecessors spent £100 million on failed plans for river crossings. So why don't you stop this wasteful spending, which you can do. You can withdraw the DCO application. The deadline is on Tuesday of next week. Well, I don't want to sort of repeat the answer I've given, Chairman, but you know, I've talked about Blackwall Tunnel. I'm concerned about air quality. We know the consequences of the status quo. That's not sustainable. Okay, thank you. 